Louder. Oh, that's not moving it around. All right, first let's announce who we are as a group. All right, when we finish, you just hit that. Okay. All right, come on. Let's announce who we are. All right, come on now, now. Come on. What group are we with? Come on now. Get it out. One body in the That's right. One body in the higher. I'm Elder Ezariah Ben Yosef. Okay. All right. And this is my son. All right. Today's message, we're doing a uh, Bible study series. Okay. Where we're focusing on what is the plight of our people, our future. As Hebrew Israelites, we already know we're Israelites. And this is really a follow-up of the of the of the lesson we did um, a little while ago. Okay? Alright, so listen up, stay focused. Okay? This is dealing with the remnant of the Most High, whose name is Ahiah. Okay? And who is the remnant? We're about to get into that. All right. Revelation chapter 7, verse 7. Read. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 All right. So the tribe of Levi, that's who we are. Okay? The Beckles family. All right? That is our slave name. Our Hebrew Israelite name is Ben Yosef. Okay? That is the name we adopted as Hebrew Israelites that, because that's who we are. Okay? And I see what YouTube and, and, and is doing. Okay? is they're, they're deleting and, 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 and attacking our people who are waking up. But I got a message for, for those bastards at Google who run YouTube. Keep it up because all it's going to do is, is, is get me closer and closer to the Most High. You're not going to stop the Hebrew Israelite movement. You're not deleting all the reprobates, all the degenerates who, who are putting videos out there. But you're attacking Hebrew Israelites. It's not going to work. And this is what this message is about. Is the people the Most High is is wanting to save? That's what this is about. Okay, read. Of the tribe of Issachar, twelve thousand were sealed. Verse eight. Of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve thousand were sealed. Okay, so the Most High, what is he sealing? He's sealing a remnant of his people. How does he seal it? He seals it with the Holy Spirit. He must be baptized. We covered that in Romans. Okay. All right. We, we cover that throughout the New Testament. That's why John the Baptist, the forerunner, was about, you know, baptizing, okay? To let people know what they need to do to come into the kingdom of heaven, all right? All right, go on to um, verse 8. Let's go. Read loud. Let's go. Joseph, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. Verse 9. After these things, I looked, and behold, a great one seed. Showing the number of all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues. Uh -huh. Standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands. Verse 10. And crying out with a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our Elohim. Our Elohim. And we went over that. His name is Ahia. Okay? And if you go back, all right, read verse 4. All right, hold that and go to verse 4 and then drop back to verse 9. Read. Verse four, chapter seven. Now, now we know we, he's he just identified. My son just identified that there is a God of all gods, Elohim. Okay, and his name is not God. That's the pagan deity the Egyptians was dealing with. Okay, read. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, one hundred forty-four thousand, all tribes. So this precepts the verses that he just read. Go ahead. All the tribes of the children of Israel. Oh, uh, that again? Read that last part again. The hundred fifty-four thousand of the tribe of all the tribes of the children of Israel. The children of Israel. To let you know, the Most High is only dealing with His people, and that's what the Gentile, the, the fall of the Gentile nations. Okay. You, you need to see that video. Okay. The Most High is exposing our enemies and who brought us into captivity. Deuteronomy 28, okay? They're being exposed. They're the ones running the internet, okay? They're the ones who, who are demoralizing and, and promoting all kinds of wickedness in the earth, okay? Pay attention, okay? We, 
are the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes and, and African Americans. That's who the Most High is for. All of this that's going on the earth today is because we fell as a people, because we didn't obey his law, statutes, and commandments. Now get to verse um, um, 9 again. Read. And these things are looked at for the great multitude, which no one can number of all nations. That's right. We're scattered all over the world. Okay? The 12 tribes chart is not, is inaccurate. Not that it's false. It's not complete. Okay? Now, I purposely had him go over the, the tribe of Levi. That's where we're from. Okay? The tribe of Levi is not just the people in Haiti. It's also the people in Trinidad and Tobago. Okay? We've been scattered all over the world. A great multitude. Okay? And out of that multitude, the Most High is saving a remnant. And we're looking at that remnant. Me and my family. Okay, we're not all here. <laughs> okay, but my wives and my children, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit. And the Most High, all of this that he's doing in the earth today is to save us. Okay, go ahead. Drop that, um, um, fit, wrap that up and, and, and go, to, um, go to the next verse. Come on. Oh, this is Okay, and to the Lamb who is Christ. Okay, you need to read a little bit louder now on the top of your lungs. Okay, so what he's talking about is the remnant and how Christ is coming back for that remnant. It's like a husband to the bride. Okay, the scriptures tell us we'll no longer call him by another name. Okay. We won't call him, you, you know, Ishi. Okay? Ishi means husband. Okay? He will, Christ is bidding us back to the marriage. That's what this awakening is all about. All right? Go to verse 10. Let's go. All right, verse 11. Read. All the angels stood around the throne and the elders and the four living creatures and fell on their faces before the throne, worship the Most High. The only person we should be following is Christ. There's a hierarchy to things. Um, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. There's the Most High, there's Christ, there's man, and there's the woman. It's a hierarchy. Okay? No man should be following anyone, least of all a woman. Okay? We should only be following Christ. All right? All right, wrap that up. There's the amen, blessing, and glory, and wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, and power. Be louder, be louder. Then one of the elders answered, saying to me, You are these arrayed in white robes and where did they come from? Verse 14. And I said to him, Sir, you, you know, so he said to me, But the, so these are the ones who come out of the great These generation. are the ones. And the pre, um, Ezekiel chapter 37 precepts that the valley of the dry bones. We're dealing with the children of Israel. Okay? We are that remnant. All of this, the, the wars the, um, the, that they don't tell you in the media, the real fake media is your news media. Okay? Not what Hebrew Israelite uh, leaders and teachers like myself is bringing forward on YouTube. Okay? And I hope they do, uh, uh, um, delete one of my videos again. Bringing forth truth trying to awaken our people. I'll just post it on another website, okay? But you're not going to stop me. And then we got people of our own people trying to stop it, you, you know, playing that black-on-black -black thing. Women who are upset that men are waking up and standing up for, for truth. The Most High is mainly dealing with the men. It tells you he's, the 44,000, those are men. And it's the families that are up under those men. You read the whole chapter, Okay? The most I, mo, and most of our people will not make it. 90% of them won't make it. This, this message is only for the 10% of people who will make it. Okay? So, th my message is to you to stay encouraged, my brothers and sisters. Follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Get out of that fantasy world that America has, the, uh, 
Revelation 18, the, this whore, this a place called Babylon, the script of the Most High describes America as Sodom and Egypt. All of the wicked civilizations that existed has transformed into what we know as America today. All right? And, it, and, and, and America is falling. They're shutting down all their businesses. Toys R Us, you name it. Okay? Walmart, more and more um, is shutting down. People are losing their jobs, especially the men. The Most High is making a move and it's to liberate his people. Okay? The ones who want to be saved. The 10% who are following his law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? Happy Sabbath and keep watching. Uh, um, we're going to be uh, alive on the Sabbath day. Okay? in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're going to be visiting the Georgia Guidestones, okay? Well, I, well um, and our message will be exposing the Gentiles, the, uh, the wicked elite who are behind, as identified in Psalms 83, okay? The wicked people who are in rulership of this world, Job chapter 9, okay? Verse 24, the earth given into the hands of the wicked, and how they have these tablets, okay, that, that for depopulation, for their eugenics program, bastards like Margaret Sanger, uh, people like Hillary Clinton, okay, Bill Gates, all right, this is what they're about, Oprah Winfrey, all right, and they put these, the Masons and the, the, the Zionists, and put these tablets forth to let people know what they why they're poisoning our foods, the chemtrails, all of these things that they designed to destroy our people, the uh, the medical hospitals and, and, and the, the um, uh, Planned Parenthood, all of these things that they're doing to stop us from having children, okay? It, it's the most high is it, bringing judgment on America. World War III will come, and it will come while Trump is in office, I believe so. It's coming soon, okay? So gird yourself, be prepared, and be prepared to flee. Be prepared to live like pilgrims. This is the time we need to prepare and get closer to the Most High. All right? I know it's my brothers, like you're losing sleep. You're not getting enough sleep. The, the time for urgency is coming. So we need to rally together, all right? and come together. This is Elder Ezariah B. Yosef signing off. Shalom, family.